But no matter how word perfect, could any mere words do justice to the beauty of the Wordsworth country? The English Lake District. Near the lakelet of Tarn House, the tree-clad hills rise up in a grand panorama that includes the famous Langdale Pikes. Just beyond the head of Esthwaite Water is the quaint village of Hawkshead, formerly a market town. One of the most interesting buildings is the little grammar school, the subject of Wordsworth's earlier poems. As a young man, he wrote a great deal at the tiny stone cottage of Anne Tyson, still a favourite pilgrimage for the visitor. Continuing north, we approach the glorious Grasmere country, where against an impressive mountain background, the lake shimmers in its bower of woods. The village is a lovely old museum piece of tumbled cottages in good Cumberland stone, some of them pillared and gabled. A priceless relic of those roaring days of long ago is a wooden pedalless bicycle. It was Dove Cottage near Grasmere that Wordsworth shared with his sister in 1779. The cottage itself and the window of his room are very much as they were then. Grasmere Church is typical of the stone-built piles of its age. In the churchyard is Wordsworth's grave, where he and his wife lie buried. Near it is a place, a crudely made seat at the top of the steps, where the poet often sat and worked. From it he could look out over the placid Grasmere and the rugged grandeur beyond. It's the country that's England. And now, if you...